You've seen this car before. Was it? It was green. It was green and on an axis and yeah. it didn't have much else. I think it had an engine in it, did it? So this is Jackie. As someone said in the video before, the most focused man that's helped me on the build so far. <laughs> if you recognise Jackie, Jackie's been putting all the sealer on the car and uh, helping out. And he looks like the only person that's actually there doing a bit of work when he's helping us out. This is Jackie's EG. Jackie is a panel beater by trade or an auto body technician for you North Americans. <laughs> and he can't really do things half measure, so. One or another, isn't it? It's either on or off. Yeah. But uh, we're just gonna give you a little walk around this and a little talk about what he's done to it. Before he goes home, we just shot some photos of it. We've been meaning to do this for a while and uh, we locked in a time today to do it, so. It's finished after. Three and a half years? Is it actually finished? Or is there any I'm such thing as finish? Yeah, I hate saying that to people. Never it's been. to a level where you're happy with it and you want to bring I mean, it out on I, track and just yeah. enjoy it. You brought it to a track day already. Yeah, it went good. I had no breaks for most of the day, but yeah. that went good. And you've had some hardship with this thing over like the last yeah, three yeah. years. So um, you kind of started, you built this just not too long before I started the 8.6. I would have been... Yeah, in around the same time, I yeah. I'd imagine. And you started with a bare shell. So this is an Irish EG shell. Yeah, pulled out of a field. And you weld like an A-pillar into a -pillar it and in, fucking... A-pillar into it is like across two and a half inches. So I like jig it all and get it all <laughs> straight and stuff. But what's great is you meant for this to just be like yeah, well, a it, slightly it, rough and ready track car, which just snowballed into like... Jackie went over the top with the paint job because he only knows one way of doing stuff. Everyone thinks he's insane because if you look at this and then when you see the photos and stuff, it literally looks like a fucking, like show EG. This spoiler, who makes this again? Exeed. It's the Exeed spoiler, yeah. Like, it should be the only one over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Advan RGs, 949's in front, you, yeah, because you couldn't find the jack wheel in that size, is it? Like what is it? 15 by 8. 15 by 8, yeah. Oh, it's, it's hard, it's, well, it's expensive. So you ended up having to buy another EG yeah, because nuts and bolts, nuts and, bolts and all sorts of stuff. Stupid bits, like you know, like wind window rubbers and bits off the doors and yeah. stuff. It's, it's hard to get anything for them now. Like. I love that you finished it all properly though, exactly like a road car. Even though these are all Perspex windows, they have the nice little black kind of outer like border around it, so it just looks like a glass window. Quick latches. Oh yeah. So you're heavily inspired by the like N1 cars of Japan. Yeah. Like, I mean, the inside is done all gray. Probably that and a combination of rally cars and stuff as well. And a little bit of both. Yeah. A little bit of everything. You know, all older Japanese cars, maybe yeah. like EGs and stuff, definitely. But, you know, as, the, as kind of things progress, you, you kind of can't have the, all the old. Yeah, you the can't. Older. Like, a K series is cheaper than the B series here. Yeah. Rallying kind of. All yeah, it did. They took all well. the B16Bs for rallying. But what's funny is you bought, was it a CL? CL7 and got it, stripped it. Yeah, well, it was crashed. crashed. It was yeah, 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 yeah. It was a nice car before that. I'd done a bit of work on it before that. Yeah. It was a nice car. But took the engine in the box out of that and broke the rest of it. That's what started this whole thing, really. So, as you said, you've tried to keep it like somewhat to the style. So you went with like Bride Z the ones. It, like it looks like a car from like the night, like a, like the Spoon N1 Saver from like the mid '90s. Yeah. The grey, except for modern touches, everything is completely gutted. The doors are gutted. Barry, who is your cousin, I don't know if we really ever said that, but uh, yeah, both of you kind of like knocked this out. Yeah, like we got the kind of fabrication end of it done pretty quick yeah. over, a, over a winter, like spare evenings and. The odd weekend that we're not working doing yeah. other people's stuff, so it came together fairly quick that way. But then, you know, it gets to a certain stage, and then you kind of have to just leave it and go at something else. Yeah. Who did the wiring? Then? So it was uh, Motorsport Fifty Six, yeah, Bob. Bob. Bob was Motorsport Fifty Six yeah. and all the wiring. You did a tidy job, and tidy then like job. all our stuff then are like parts from the states and stuff because these are re like it's really common to have K series swap EGs in yeah. the states. They're getting more popular here. Yeah. They are, but so that's where you reached out for a lot of that kind of technology. What's that like a hybrid, hybrid racing, racing shifter? shifter yeah. Nice Momo wheel, then yeah. digital dash, and flick the switch there, and we get a look. Really nice panel and display. Just the essential the the fuel, gauge. Air fuel, race, fuel gauge. Yeah. And then everything else is on this, obviously, so you didn't need like any like fucking no, analog was, gauges. It was the whole thing, like, it's a can wear to the ECU. Right. So, like, just keep everything as simple as that. And, like, you know, yeah. like, it only has brake lights, it don't have indicators, no reverse lights. Yeah. No. I love what you've done here, then, with all the panels, then. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there you go. You blanked everything then with just carbon. Yeah. Someone might be looking at this now and wonder, and they'll just think, oh wow, like, what are you going to do with it and stuff? But like, you've made a competition spec yeah, it's, car. It's a competition spec car, really, yeah. Like, I'd, I'd imagine it passed most scrutinies. 
you yeah. know, you probably need little like seats obviously up there in the harnesses, but yeah. other than that I'd imagine it get through most things. <laughs> Did you think you were going to go this deep and this far and get this thorough or was that kind of what you set out to do? I, I kind of said I wanted but it always yeah. fucking happens the other way, don't it? Yeah. You always kind of get too far. You can't really stop, you can you have to keep going. And yeah, and then you watch. just keep finding more yeah. and more. and You see stuff and you like it and then you want to, yeah, I want that part. I think that's the way with every time. Yeah. I love though how you did, you stayed true to like what you were always interested in and compromised in places where like you can't build a full, like because even full Japanese race cars aren't even that clean and tidy. Nah, they're, they're, they've been used, yeah. you know. And with this kind of thing you wanted to just blend stuff that people do here at racing and rallying and like you know when people build well sorted cars this side of the world but then blend it with just nice Japanese stuff and parts you know, I, I, I don't think it'd look out of place over there no for sure like you know. like it's kind of like all those Kanjo lads that are after building all proper sorted track cars and that's all they do now for like yeah. the one make race series the hunting thing is not really no it's not as big as it used to be as big as it used to be the grey is fucking it's gorgeous is, yeah. And then who did the cage then? Uh, Richie Hearn. Full weld in. What? How many pointers? Six, six, six point well, cage. Like it goes out to the yeah. shock towers. It's just a simple cage. It's not in, yeah. it's not in ma massive. You know, I don't have like the bars. Yeah, well, you're not going competing or doing anything like mental. Like it's such as a. It's never. I never want to compete. There's a fuel set up here then. Yeah, so that's like you have a lift pump in the tank. Yeah. You have your swerve pot. Yeah. Then you have like another a fuel filter and then you have another pump there yeah. and that's just going straight out to the regulator. And then you've done the two fire extinguishers then that are yeah. plumb so fuel lines are running along the floor and stuff yeah. so I didn't really want to be going and firing. Yeah. You know, so you've there's one there for the passenger, one there for me, and then there's two back there for the fuel. The pull pin is obviously going to be out when you're out on track. Yeah. And just pull this. Right. And if I'm knocked out, <laughs> you pull that one out. So like the shell is what? Like fully seam welded yeah, as well? Yeah, fully seam welded. And you've tubbed the rear arches so yeah. you could tuck like fatter wheels. Yeah, like it's, it's properly fucking tubbed up the side and you can... Yeah. Like the car could go an awful lot lower but it's actually nice. Yeah. Like the angles of the drive shafts and all that and the way the suspension is set, it's all nice now so... Deadly. I don't really want to go like massively lower. No, it's not about the look with nah. this thing. It's purely a function oh, machine. Yeah. Like it... Obviously, I, I like the car to look good as well. But. Oh, there's a train passing. What's funny is we shot your other EG yeah, with the DC2, DC2 front, front here yeah. 10 years ago. Right, so this is a K20A a out of a CL7, a Cord Euro R yeah. JDM specific engine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the box internally is out of that, but it's a EP3 casing because it's cheaper to actually buy mounts for an EP3 or okay. an EC5 conversion so it like changed the, the post on the engine side for that mount to work and stuff and the, the case and it's just it's, it's just easier to use all that stuff okay They're right more readily available because like as you know sure we went through two gearboxes on yeah. the know. so yeah for people that might not know the B series is mounted the other way so the manifold comes out here but on the uh, K20s and the K series they're mounted the other way around but uh it is a bit of a tight squeeze in fairness, isn't it? When yeah, you have the, you have the intake like, out like intake that. Out like that and stuff. It's not close to the bonnet bar. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Get just a little like. notch in it. And then you've done an L headlight delete with a cold air feed that comes in here. So yeah, you just have to buy a bunch of stuff from the States then. All the K-Tune stuff and yeah. hybrid racing and everything. They're all kits that are already... Yeah, yeah. Any, anything is K-Tune or hybrid. Like, there, I'm sure there is dealers here, but like, we know so, like, there's a company over there I've dealt with for years. Yeah. So it's just easy to get it off them. Yeah. You know it's going to be good, but they're going to get, send us the right parts. Like, cheap strut, but got all TIG welding and stuff, because it was like laser welds. Okay. I didn't really like it, so. Obviously, awesome. then you have the heat uh, tape on this then, because the manifold is well, melted the wrong way around, just in case. Well, just, like, it's not going to do anything, it's just, it was ah, scabby yeah, and stuff, but, like, all, like, any of them, like, you know. Any, yeah, everything has to be just fucking protected. It gets pretty hot in the car. I cars, imagine it, it does, like, you can even feel the heat off it now, and we've only yeah. done a small bit of driving in it. Yeah, it's a tight squeeze, but it's definitely the, the way to go if you want, like, a modern Honda setup. I mean, the K-Series is... For bang for buck and for power. Yeah. What do you reckon this is like? It's 270 horsepower. 270 yeah, horsepower, like in a front open engine. engine. But again, it's on race fuel, it's on 102. So yeah. And it has a few little good bolt ons and stuff. But yeah. It's, it's easily achieved. Like, we had to cut, like, this should be like down Yeah, here. okay, but sure, there's no like, room with there's that. There's no room for that. Like. And then the front lip then is off of a P10 Primera. Is it P10 or P11? P10 Primera. or P11 Primera. It's, it's the front bumper, and then, like, we cut it to the shape, say, we wanted it. That yeah. Should, this kind of should lip in here. Yeah but we just kind of cut it along and then just universal. 
universal split around it. Then Jap bumpers on it then and a Jap tailgate on it as well. Are they oh, sti still steel then? Still or? steel, yeah. Just pulled them all like... Wow. Like, like to Jesus, that's start. fucking some... Yeah. Like big that's... tires. They're 225. Right. 50. Yeah. It's pretty big, like right on a 15 inch wheel, isn't it? Like if you looked at this from the outside, if you weren't really like, you know, two up on the Honda stuff, you just go, ah, whatever. Like it just looks like a, an EG Civic. But there's a lot of work done behind... Are they pulled out as well? Or? Yeah, they're pulled a little Yeah, and it's or, completely rolled and yeah. caught the back. Put arches into it. Yeah. Like every other one of them, they all rot like. Yeah. So we just put the repair sections in, but when we cut it off, we tubbed it all up then. Yeah. Are you happy? Uh, after all this? I'm happy. After three and a half years of a good lot of misery. It felt I'm good happy. to bring it out on track? Yeah, first day, man. Like, a little bit scary at the same time, because it's... Yeah, uh, I'm kind of nervous more so than nothing, because I haven't driven the car as fully seen well the, the no. them kind of spring reins you know it's like it's a bit more aggressive than what I'm used to yep but we're mostly used to just good sorted road yeah, cars sorted road car. and now you have an absolute animal of a fucking track car yeah like the power to weight is really good like the power is really really good in the car like you're only using third fourth fifth gear because we only have one track here so like the gears are pretty good and you're never down out of third gear like that's the slowest you're going to be is in third gear so I always wanted to have a track car and EG was a good kind of base to start from so it worked well. And the colour is a special kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's paradise green blue power and when I got the paint I didn't like it. So you darkened it? I, I just, I had a bit of blue off a of Peugeot down there and I just dumped a litre into the five litres that I got. But Barry helped you a fair bit just fecking oh, around with man, this thing, didn't he? Barry helped me. Every car I do, Barry helps me a lot. Yeah. You know, in fairness, I don't like anyone else welding my fucking cars yeah. or doing any other so, shit, so... We chucked in our Barry sticker in here. Well, Barry... Barry got one stuck and it stuck in, it in there. You put it in a place where you can't see it unless you just look back and you look through and you just see him. So, it's pretty funny. Well, I know you hate being on camera yeah. and <laughs> I just wanted to poke you about your car because it's fucking gorgeous and it's nice to finally shoot it and do what we did. Yeah, no, it's nice to get a few pictures of it. And get a few pictures of it while it's nice yeah. and mint and fresh and it's definitely probably one of the coolest EGs in Ireland and definitely great to see someone put that much effort into making a track car because a lot of times people are like ah what's the point because it's a track car but slap it together like slap it together yeah. hope you fucking enjoyed this really nice civic that jackie owns and you'll be seeing jackie more over the next while in the videos <laughs> An awful lot more. and then he'll uh, eventually hate me and we won't talk to each other anymore <laughs> <laughs> see you later goodbye